Okay, so I um, wanted to give you some uh, another video on uh, the boat. This was shot uh, December 8th, 2013. Uh, you can see the trailer. The trailer has a unique rig. Is It is currently set up, welded in position, standard hitch. Was previously set up. If you just raise this up and weld it up top, as a fifth wheel, it also has this unique third wheel on a hydraulic jack. The purpose of that was to uh, lower that down, put it on a winch assembly, and roll the whole back whole thing into the water, and then pull the trailer out from underneath it, so you didn't have to back your your truck as far down the rat because the first owner had a small truck that he towed this with. Can't imagine what this looked like in front of a little Nissan or behind a little Nissan. Um, the trailer could use paint, but otherwise it's in very good condition. And specifically, all new brakes, wheels, tires uh, were added in this year, uh, earlier this year, back in uh, February. So... Gunnel needs a little paint, but you'll see otherwise that the paint around the entire hull is in good shape. Um, this uh, this area here, this has been plugged, and it's uh, been plugged well, um, but. Uh, I'm not, it seemed like there was a secondary exhaust at some point. I, I can't figure out why that was there. It could be used uh, later if you wanted to put in a sink for offboarding, uh, as well as this. This is above waterline, but it is also plugged. Uh, the hull underneath, the anti fouling paint is not in perfect condition, but it still has many, many, much time left on it. Could use some touch up here. I'm obviously rubbed against something. But there's no damage to anything. Bronze rudder has a depth sounder attachment and speed. You see that it has a uh, bronze plate at the bottom on the keel. Have any rub or stainless steel rather, not bronze. Stainless steel runs all the way up, and then there's a bronze cap on the end of that. Runs all the way up to the bow. Um, so that's the lower exterior of the boat. The top sides, just kind of get a look for that. You have a mast with an attachment for an antenna that goes on top of that. Um, the Folgers can, there's a draft port up at the top, and when I have it in storage, I, I put that on there just to make sure no water gets in. Uh, anchor up front. There. Okay, standing on the uh, back cockpit, uh, those are just access panels. Um, not to access anything, I've never opened them up. Um, you have a little aluminum ladder that goes up to your upper deck, rear door. This panel accesses the turning gear and this quick release panel accesses the emergency tiller. Um, you'll see by other, other videos we just refinished this. I oiled it recently, but it needs to be oiled again. And I redid all of the all of this piece here, through back here, through here has been painted. Um, I'm not a very good painter to tell you the 
truth. But uh, I painted up through here. But uh, like I said, the gunnels and uh, the white painting in general, it's getting the time where the deck house could use a coat of paint. Um, one area that was repaired by me and someone else prior to is this corner piece right here. It's all fiberglass now, um, but the interior side of it is still a little weak. It looks like some water must have gotten in through here and kind of rotted out the wood in there, but it's all it's fiberglass over now. It's an okay repair, structurally good, um, but really picky people or people that do it themselves will want to uh, redo that. Uh, it has a little lock down here. You can latch the door. Apologize, it's a little dirty right now. Uh, I kind of pulled in and was working on stuff and, and left left that. Um, and as you walk inside, I am six foot two. I got full standing, full standing headroom right up to the top of my head. As long as I don't hit the sides over here. Uh, it's got this really nice you know, cor corrugated uh, polyethylene uh, rooftop. Uh, won't hold moisture, won't mold. It's really, really a great idea. Uh, it's simple, inexpensive, uh, really done well. Um, this is the corner I was telling you about outside that ha still has some issues. You see there's some issues run back here a little bit. Um, so I would replace this whole panel again. Uh, it's just um, uh, all the beams and everything are okay. The uh, the paneling though is probably the guy probably used Douglas Fir Marine. Um, I'm betting it's quarter inch, um, quarter inch plywood for that. So uh, I would replace all that. Uh, rear windows, vents. Good. This side's all good, nice and solid. Um, I have uh, the beds one up position. You get storage behind them. A little bit of storage back there. And then storage over on this side. Um, and this is in the sitting position. Swim ladder goes on back. That was the swim ladder was responsible for the damage in the back. Over time, I would definitely do something different. You see here, this is a this is one of the blower motors. There's two blower motors uh, for the engine, and then two uh, vents. So he did this because in hotter weather, it keeps the engine room cooler, keeping the rest of the boat cooler. Seat is on a sliding station, so you can slide it. It's hard for me to show you with holding the camera too, but you can slide this forward. Put it where you want to put it. Um, one idea, and many of the designs have a fixed helm station that's sitting forward. You sit on where maybe a microwave goes, and then to the right is the refrigerator with a sink over there, and then this side being a little small um, higher settee so people can see, or with a dining table in the center, um, which makes it all very nice. So that would be one of the great, good design, a good design for this area here. Uh, I, talk, I told you about the exhaust fan. That works really good at bringing in cool air and letting hot air out. Uh, tools, it comes with a radio, not meter. His uh, depth sounder is there. 
knot meter is there, uh, got your water temperature, oil pressure, uh, tachometer, which I, I am having trouble with. I'm not sure why it's not working. I changed out the alternator thinking that was what the issue was, but it's not. This here, it's got an air horn, um, and that's the air tank pressure gauge, uh, automatic bilge pump, throttle control, of course, nice little wood wheel. I really dig. You have another door on this side here. Certainly good if it's warm and you're at the helm. Just open that up. Then you have your switches all run here. Two um, wiper blades, big windows. I don't know if you can see it in the photo there is a small crack in this window I did because I had a heater up there one time and stupid just uh, cracked it okay up front here there's a uh, big anchor locker got a uh, couple of lights uh, light switches here I don't have them turned on but you have uh, your light switches here uh, for up here um, again, the neat thing about this anchor locker is you have the anchor up front and then you also have a little Danforth. Is it is big enough. I'm a big guy and I can stand up right there and I can handle the whole anchor process. And so I really, really like this. You just open this here. And you are out and you got a lot of control over that you don't have to stand out on the bow if it's raining you don't even have to get wet really so that is really good there's a Samson post anchored to the stem Lots of room up there, but not quite enough room to make a bed. Um, you could kind of put a single bed if you needed to by folding out this and closing the doors and building up some padding for it. Um, that would make a nice angle. Storage locker on the side. Again, tons of room. Uh, fire extinguisher, more storage over here, it's your life vest, fenders over here, the other blower motor is right there. steering gear and then underneath the helm there's one underneath the helm here here is your there's your air tank for your horn some storage uh, the gearing which is on a nice reduction gear to make that a very very comfortable helm your transmission link linkage and throttle it's all built in there I think previously the steering gear was direct mounted here uh, but I guess he wanted it higher and he wanted a reduction gear or actually that's an increase gear um, so he moved it. If I was building something into the V berth, like a kitchen or something, which that's another design, is to have that as a, uh, a kitchen up front, um, I would probably move it back or move the head over or whatever. Because 
it is just uh, maybe put on a little bigger wheel then it'd be more comfortable but anyway plenty of stuff in there um, you really see here what nice wood he used for this a lot of it's solid oak frames everywhere you can see everything's epoxied over he didn't really finish it he kind of slathered it on but it's, it's nice and thick okay so I opened up the engine compartment for you um, Wanted to see, he's got built in everything with aluminum, uh, brackets and holding, and there's some substructure that's all solid aluminum uh, to strengthen up the motor chassis. You can see the seal is there. Um, it will run through down and out there's a little gap there so it runs runs forward as if it leaks at all um, I haven't noticed that it leaks at all um, you got the transmission it has a uh, water cooling Trans transmission gearing that goes to the front it's all set up, really nice stuff. Bolted on there. Uh, engine mounts. Then this is an exchange, heat exchange unit. So, you know, that has uh, antifreeze in it. And then um, raw water comes in. And is secondary, there's a secondary storage for that area. Raw water comes in, uh, goes through the manifold, um, comes in through, uh, or it doesn't go through the manifold, but goes through the radiator, and then just the antifreeze and coolant go through the actual engine. Um, there's not only this part, but they added the secondary one to make sure that you have plenty of cooling and then of course there's an overflow tank for that. Um, this is the Thermo King. There's the heads number B25-1150. Um, it's got separator and filter. Oil filter is there. Secondary fuel filters here. Way overkill for such a small engine, but nice to have. Of course, your air intake here. Um, and then your, your, your exhaust is way, it's way down there. Uh, Engine oil oil filler and check is down here on the port side, um, along with the starter is back over here. You have your switches up front. Two deep cycle batteries. I have the charger wired, but it's there's no power where I hold this, so that it's not on. And you have that as your valve pole, and your emergency tiller is back here. Let's see uh, what else. Bilge, uh, little water from rain recently down there. I, there's uh, some. You know, manufactured vents that come in. I can't figure out, except for in the in the back, 
just going to clock that there might be a little bit of water that comes in through there. But that's not as much water as it looks because that's actually a big old thick coat of epoxy down there at the bottom. So it's just a very thin amount of water sitting on top of that. Um, the uh, air or the water intake is 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 way down there. You can see that down there. Uh, of course, I leave it open because it's on a trailer. Um, and then that's for winterizing when you want to drain the system. Just simply turn that and you can uh, make sure that all the water is out of the system. You got a new belt, alternator. Alternator may not quite look new because the trick with this is there's is getting the alternator that looks like that alternator, but you know everything's set up a little different. So I just swap out the case, put in all the new internals so that it all matches, and then I only spend like 40 bucks on an alternator instead of 400 bucks on an alternator. Uh, actually, you can get uh, one for, through Thermo King for $120. I'll bolt right on, but you know, when they put these things in different things like boats and stuff, everything's a little different. So, anyway, I can't think of anything else to show you in here. Um, I should uh, mention that the goop on the top of that is a uh, repair for a, I guess, a mild leak that the previous owner had. Um, it hasn't leaked it on my watch at all, so I haven't messed with it. But he was recommending, even though I found the boat to run very good, that eventually uh, new fuel injectors would be in order. Um, I didn't hear uh, any knocking from, um, from badge fuel uh, once off idle, maybe a little bit at idle, but off idle ran really, really good. Uh, so uh, I put some additive in the fuel and and moved on, and it's it's been good. Um, still, I did research them. They're one hundred and twenty-five dollars each. So for five hundred dollars, you have all new fuel injectors. If uh, if you like, not too much. Not, not 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 overly expensive for a uh, once every 10 year 15 year deal all right that's it